Sir, Alex, Principal, Kersan Departments, my fellow faculty members, graduates, my dear students, parents, invitees, Dr. Bindu Vijay Kumar, Dr. Madhuri Kumar, Dr. Madhuri Kumar, Dr. Madhuri Kumar, and all other invitees and guests. It's a great honor for me. Thank you all. An excellent institution of this region. One of the best colleges of this region. To deliver the 20th anniversary address. 20th anniversary is not a small question. It's an outstanding achievement of this college. To conduct 25 years of service in education. And as one of the mentioned, I was the Chief Guest for the first conversation. Is it the same one? Yeah, okay. I still remember that I came to the Vice Chancellor. That was the evening function. I had a wonderful day, evening dinner. Actually, excellent variety I had. And went back to Atma and I think this is the conversation. I still remember that. When some time back, the principal called the minister and he wanted to come to the conversation. I told him already I've come. Colleges in this region. I had a vice chancellor. I had no complaint of this college at all as a vice chancellor of Madhya University. So I decided, yes, I will eliminate it now. Even though it's a long day, I live in Pandora, it's a long distance. I get my car actually. I'm traveling more than 500 kilometers by car. Actually, my daughter told me to not travel such a long distance by car. Still, that I did it. Because I like this college, I like the way this college will be conducted, the management, everything. So I, I, I agree that I am here today because I would like to thank the management for having given this opportunity for me to stand before all of you to address. Before I begin my speech, I would like to congratulate all the graduates of the day who are going to receive the degrees, diplomas, and medals and certificates for various achievements. I wish you all the great future. India is a country of opportunities. All of you have an excellent future in this country. And I wish you all a great future of the degree from this college. And the graduates who are going to be a degree today. It's not the end of the education at all, you know. Every degree is not the end of the education. It's the beginning of your career. But not the end of the education, you know. And today is a great day for all of you. Getting a degree with uh, having a coat and then the level to the shy, getting a degree is a great important event in your lifetime. It's a great achievement of your in your lifetime. So you should be thankful for something good or that to happen actually, you know. Getting a degree. Who all of you should thank for that? First of all, you have to thank your parents, you know. They have done so much for you. Without their support and help and their hard work, you know, their dedication, their commitment, you will not have come to the stage where you are today. So first you have to thank your parents. So you have to thank your teachers, schools, as well as the college and the current teachers of this college who have made it happen. And there is the management of this college, you know. We have a beautiful college, an excellent auditorium, and a clean environment everywhere. And it is absolutely a great thing to have to be thankful to the society at all, you know. Please remember, you know, you travel by the road, you know, from Coimbatore from to Velo, beautiful road, you know. Six lane road from Coimbatore to Velo and Anipan, six beautiful road I travel there. You would have traveled like that. It's not my money, your money, the taxpayers' money, you know, the society's money. All infrastructure is here, I mean, you see, you know, lifetime going, and all that the government is spend a lot of money, the public money. My money is there. So the society has spent so much for you. Please remember your education, parents alone not spend money. Both the government, state government, central government spend money. 
directly or indirectly for the village they said. And that is whose money? The society's money. That's why we have all that we are going to get in Greece today. So what are we going to do of the deal? The big question is that. Most of them are not employed. Some of them are waiting for employment. Whatever it may be. There is an opportunity for everybody in this country. Like India is an opportunity of opportunities. Everybody there is something to do in India and country. You know we have now we have committed 75 years of independence. Just to celebrate it, we are running 76 years of independence. Even today, India is a developing country. You know Abdul Kalam. It's a close friend of mine. Abdul Kalam was a professor, he was a vice chancellor. I only said this really in order to put the president of India there. He made the statement that the day he got the appointment as the president of India, we had a press conference in Anna University. Myself and Abdul Kalam both spoke at So many things, he made one important statement at the day. India will become a developed country in 2020. From Jana Kumar, there is a book also 2020, written by Abdul Kalam and Samadhi Aar. 2020 has gone two years back. 20 years has gone after he made the statement. Now, who the two he made? Three, two years are over there. Nothing has happened. Please remember that. Nothing has happened from that day to today, nothing has happened in the except Kaiti and Road. Few things happened there, absolutely great. But overall, has India become a developed country? This dream of making India a developed country never did not achieve. Four man died without changing his dream as a result of that. So to make India a developed country, not one Abdul Kalam, not one Prime Minister Modi or the Salim or one of the few ministers and government cannot do that. All of us have to contribute. And people like you, youth of the country, have to contribute to make India a developed country. You know, our Prime Minister Modi goes on telling everywhere India is a rich country in terms of youth power. No? 30 to 40% of the Indian population is not So, the India is a easy youth power. But does not mean India is making a rich country. Please remember, India is a rich country as a global economy. We are the fourth, fifth economy in the world today. India is a rich country. But Indians are poor. Please remember that. India is rich in India, but Indians are sick. Poor. See the gap between the divide between rich and poor is too large. The gap widened in the last two years. So how do you make India develop the country at all? Unless you can bridge the gap. Unless you make the poor to the common. Unless you increase the cut of the income of Indians. Unless you agree the achievement of education, achievement in health care, education, agriculture, infrastructure, great improvement, no country can become a developer. India cannot become a developer unless you improve education achievement. Please remember, youth only have to contribute socially, economically to any country in the world. Rather, India or Nala, all of them are there. Super good job today. I have heard a lot of them. India is going to be a very good job. It's 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 a very good job. Semua kaum ini macam, semua orang tu, semua orang macam mana? Kalau ni kerja macam ni, bodoh je semua orang tu kerja macam ni. 
அந்த நாட்டோட இளைஞர்களை வல்லவர்களாகவும் நல்லவர்களாகவும் மாற்றி அந்த நாட்டுடைய எக்கனாமிக் வளர்ச்சிக்காக வேண்டி கான்பூட் பண்ண நம்பிக்கைகள் தான் அந்த நம்பிக்கைகள் நீங்க எல்லாம் அமெரிக்காவுக்கு <laughs> 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 பணத்தை <laughs>
हमसे कॉल अपॉन प्रिय दशमी बी ऑफ कॉमर्स साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग टू अ सेकंड क्लास चैप्टर 1 हमसे कॉल अपॉन मोहन दास यस ऑफ कॉमर्स साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग टू अ सेकंड क्लास चैप्टर 2 Your second class number two. Next we call upon Syed Raji Zaidi of Mechanical Engineering. Your second class number one. Respected sir, I present unto you Aeronautical Engineering. The candidates are Nilavarsi S, yes. Radhika D, Saliha Tabasum M. Yeah. Venila B, Jilani Shari, Stridhar K, Muhammad Anis. Thank you. Thank you, sir. May I now call upon Professor C. Nila Karan, head of the Civil Department, to announce the graduates of BE. Thank you. 
Yeah. 